Hi there, Gabe from Incipia doing a follow-up to a prior video in which we did a pre-post analysis of uh, making app store optimization improvements. So following up on that video, uh, we're going to show you the impact of the description change that we did about a week and a half ago. So again, we're going to go into App Analytics from our iTunes Connect account. And specifically what we did last time was edit a question into the first line of our description, as well as a straightforward description on top of the reviews that we had before. So now we're going to measure what the impact of that was on performance. So because the description only shows up when somebody actually clicks into the product page uh, to view more information about your app, we're going to be looking at app units to divide by product page views as opposed to app units divided by installations or app units divided by impressions if you are doing a screenshot change or an icon change or a title change. So here we have the last 90 days for conversion rate of app units divided by product page views. And you can see that it's kind of variable. We were doing some advertising um, somewhere in between here. But then since we've stopped doing advertising, uh, we've seen the conversion rate decline over time. So in order to reverse that trend, we made this uh, description change, and it looks like we're starting to see some better results. But here's how to specifically go in and make sure that uh, using pre-post analysis in Excel, you're seeing better data. So you're going to want to download all the information to uh, Excel. Actually, if your app version is localized uh, per country, you'll want to make sure that you're looking only at the country or countries that are using the description um, that you've made a change to. So if we specifically look in the US App Store, uh, it looks like the change may not have done so well. Goalie doesn't have a localized listing, so we could look at the worldwide data, but let's pretend that um, we're only going to look at the United States data and we had a localized version. So pulling this into Excel, we're going to look at the seven days prior to the change and the seven days after the change, not including the day that we did the change on, which was December 2nd. So we're going to do a sum of, so we're going to look at the installs for the seven days prior and the seven days after. So here we have 36 installs prior and 134 product page views post. So here, even though we saw a decline in the num number of installs, um, we saw our product page views come down too. And the ratio at which we were converting those product page views into app installs has actually gone up. And remember that you want to look at um, the magnitude of the change to understand whether it's a strong change or not. Um, so here we have 10%, which we said in the last video, 10% or better is when we have um, confidence that the change produced a significant improvement or in the other case decline. Here we see a 10% improvement in our ability to convert product page views into app installs. And so we're going to call this a success that adding in a question and a straightforward description on top of the reviews was a positive change. So from this point on, we're going to probably continue monitoring this to make sure that improvements continue on for another week or so. Uh, and then we may make some other changes based on this information. Uh, so we may add some more items into the rest of the description. Uh, for best results, we would probably want to test different screenshots, different captions, uh, a different icon perhaps as well, and continuously optimize the keywords found in the title uh, as well as the keyword space. But this is a follow-up to, again, the last video showing the results using a pre-post analysis uh, of the change to our description. Uh, thanks for following along. We will have more videos for you soon. 
feel free to subscribe. Uh, send us an email to hello at incipia.co if you would like to, uh, if you have a topic in mind that you would like us to delve into. Uh, and video, visit incipia.co slash posts in order to see some of the posts we're writing on App Store optimization as well as search ads uh, and other aspects of daily life for app developers and marketers that are useful.